Hey there, good morning, it's Saturday. Did you see the snowflakes? I saw them. Persistence, you know, you get, we've been out here a long time, got ourselves some water and some persistence and we spotted the snowflake. Anyway, we're also out in this part of the yard because we wanted to talk about Iselton, California. And I wanted to show you where Iselton, California was while we talked about it. So, Iselton, California is, uh, here's Sacramento, it's right there near Sacramento. Why are we talking about Iselton, California? Well, because Sunday there will be the celebration of Spam. Why do they celebrate Spam chickens? Stop shouting out the answers. Uh, because in the 90s they had a flood, all the perishable food perishes, and all they have left is Spam. So they all like say, hey, I can make this with Spam. And oh, I can make this with Spam. And it becomes a thing. Uh, so this year's uh, Spam King, Paul Steele, been the Spam King for 10 years. He comes in a little Spam can replica hat, little outfit, and uh, he oversees the whole uh, hoo-ha. <laughs> and uh, they do things like having a Spam eating contest, of course, uh, and a Spam toss. Spam's not in the can, Spam's all loose. You know, you stand 15 feet, throw, keep backing up, gets kind of mushy and slimy, like catching a greased watermelon or a fish or something. I bet you it's hard. Hi, Star. Yeah, good to hear from you. Uh, also, Paul says his favorite uh, food ever made from Spam is Spam cheesecake, which has caramelized uh, Spam and it, it's glazed somehow. I don't know. Doesn't sound great to me, but hey, Paul likes it and he knows stuff about Spam. Uh, so that's Sunday if you want to fly out to celebrate with them. I also wanted to talk about Richard Plaud, a Frenchman who built a Eiffel Tower replica out of matchsticks and the Guinness Book World Record said, no, you didn't do it right because he uh, bought the matchsticks before the matchstick company put the little red igniter thing on it. And they said, you can't do that. He writes an appeal. And uh, then they said, oh yeah, I guess it's bad to have that on there. I think other people maybe, I don't know what other people did, but you're building something out of matchsticks, you probably shouldn't have the igniter part on it. Anyway, he made a 2060 the end of the, way down there, 23.62 feet tall Eiffel Tower replica <laughs> out of matchsticks. It's amazing. Look it up. Uh, today's weather, sun, clouds, kind of chilly, but you know what I say. Get outside, do something fun. I'm out from all this information. Bye-bye.